I think he's both crazy and a hero. I'm, I'm not saying that's like a, a healthy career choice, but I know that he's been he had been working for a long time, and he could probably get a job somewhere else, or maybe he'll do like promotional things. He's like the crazy flight attendant guy who grabbed beers and went down the emergency slide. That's awesome. If you're a flight attendant for 28 years, props to him for spicing things up. I mean. You know, it's probably been boring for the past 28 years. Got to got to throw some drama in there. He's probably going to get so, fired for it, but it's still yeah. hilarious. I know? respect that, though. I think it's great publicity for JetBlue. Everyone's hopefully going to be talking about them. Maybe positively, <laughs> maybe not. You never know. Any press is good press, I guess. Exactly. I, I think if they look overall at the, his whole record, they should take that all into account instead of just taking this one incident. Because we all have bad days. I mean... Maybe he could have handled it a little better, but we're human. He's human, so. I once, actually, I saw a waitress once slap a customer in the face with a steak and quit. So I think that I would have wanted to do that. Just f- you, f- you, f- you, I'm gone. Like, yeah, no, I, who knows? They probably thought he won a lottery or something. Like, you know, the way he flipped out. I'm, I'm too polite and nice, so I'd probably just give my two weeks notice and then go chill out. When I, if I run into a situation like that with a, with a customer, I'll walk away. That's the best course of action is a walk away. You know what I mean? I wouldn't do what he did. 